Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brands Brands. I'm Mark Brand from Alpha Controls, and today we're gonna to dive into the Validator AVS, the premier temperature validation system from our trusted partners at K Instruments. In this episode, we're gonna look at all the components that make up a validation system, how to program a study, and also how to generate all the reports required to meet all your regulatory compliance. Let's get into it. Have you ever wondered what AVS stands for? It stands for Advanced Validation System, a name that speaks for itself when it comes to precision and reliability. Let's take a closer look. Many of you might be familiar with the Validator 2000. This was the staple in thermal validation for over 25 years. The AVS is its successor. The Validator AVS is a game changer for validation in industries such as life sciences, healthcare, and food and beverage. Like most validation equipment, it's designed to make sure critical equipment like sterilizers, freezers, and autoclaves and even incubators are running safely and meeting all the specific requirements for the regulatory bodies. This device is a standalone system. It comes with a designated tablet that has the AVS software installed, which eliminates the need for a computer. The touchscreen interface can be used in two ways, docking mode, where it's connected directly to the system, or network mode, where you can detach it and use it wirelessly, giving you the flexibility to work the way you want. For example, if you're doing a study in a clean room and you don't have to gown up every time to go and check your study, you can use it undocked and wirelessly connected to the base station and be outside the clean room and monitor every step of the process. We all know time is money. So when performing a thermal validation using a wired system like the AVS, you're required to do pre and post calibrations of all your thermocouples. With the addition of an IRTD or a K bath, you can automate this process, eliminating the need for you to be there. For example, you can run this calibration overnight and be ready to go first thing in the morning. Now that we know a little bit about the AVS hardware, let's take a look at the software. As you can see on the main screen here, we click on the AVS tab, which takes us into the main screen. You'll have to put your password in here being CFR compliant. As you can see on the screen here, you've got all your different activities, assets, admin, equipment, audit, etc. We're going to go into the assets tab, and this is where you're going to see all your different assets. You can store all these for future use. Or if you'd like, you can start up a new asset with a new study by hitting the plus button in the top corner. I've already created one here called Fridge. I've actually already run the study as well. So now what I'm gonna do is look at my tiles up here, see the qualifications, highlight that, and generate reports. Hit temperature. We're gonna hit standard report. Now, one thing I didn't mention is with version 2.0, you have the ability to go and select all the reports and generate them all at the same time, saving you a lot of time. When it comes to thermal validation, the Validator AVS is the cream of the crop. It offers a very versatile way to meet all your validation needs. Being such a critical piece of equipment, it also requires yearly maintenance and calibration, not only on the AVS, but also on the IRTDs and any temperature baths that you might be using. We're also outfitted with a mobile AVS bench which allows us to come to you and calibrate your AVSs at your facility. So as you can see, Alpha's calibration capabilities are just as flexible as the AVS itself. If you'd like to learn more about the AVS, visit our website in the link below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. As your precision partner, we're always here to answer any questions. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Brands Brands.